Welcome to Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids. This time, let us have Grade 10 Easy Round. In the Easy Round, participants are not allowed to use scratch paper. Each item must be answered in 15 seconds. The answer must be written on an answer sheet before the time expires. Before we continue, please subscribe for more Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids videos. Question number one. Simplify x minus square root of 2 times x plus square root of 2 over x cubed minus 2x. Again, simplify x minus square root of 2 times x plus square root of 2 over x cubed minus 2x. Go. Time is up. Let us see the answer. It's 1 over x. Question number 2. If the letters of the word statistics are repeatedly written without spaces, what is the 2021st letter? Again, if the letters of the word statistics are repeatedly written without spaces, what is the 2021st letter? Go! Time is up. Let us see the answer. S. Okay, question number three, ready? In a class of 30 students, the average weight is 40 kilograms. If 20 of the students weigh 780 kilograms altogether, what is the average weight of the other 10 students? Again, in a class of 30 students, the average weight is 40 kilograms. If 20 of the students weigh 780 kilograms altogether, what is the average weight of the other 10 students? Go! Time is up! The answer is 42 kilograms. Question number four. At what points do the graphs of y is equal to negative x squared and y is equal to negative x intersect? Again, at what points do the graphs of y is equal to negative x squared and y is equal to negative x intersect? Go. Time is up. The answers points zero zero and one negative one. Question number five. Ready. The length of the diagonals of a rhombus are eight centimeters and five centimeters respectively. What is the area of the rhombus? Again, the lengths of the diagonals of a rhombus are 8 cm and 5 cm respectively. What is the area of the rhombus? Go!
Time is up. The answer is 20 square centimeters. Next, question number six. Teacher Ramon jogs to school from his house every morning and walks back to his house in the afternoon using the same route. If he reaches his school after one hour of jogging at a rate of 300 meters per minute, how long does it take for him to go back to his house if he walks at 100 meters per minute? Again, Teacher Ramon jogs to school from his house every morning and walks back to his house in the afternoon using the same route. If he reaches his school after one hour of jogging at a rate of 300 meters per minute, how long does it take for him to go back to his house if he walks at 100 meters per minute? Go! Time's up. Let us see the answer. Three hours. Question number seven. The sum of two numbers is nine, and their difference is sixteen. What is the smaller number? Again, the sum of two numbers is nine, and their difference is sixteen. What is the smaller number? Go. Time is up. The answer is negative 3.5. Question number 8. If f of x is equal to 2 raised to x plus x squared minus 2, what is f of 0? Again, if f of x is equal to 2 raised to x plus x squared minus 2, what is f of 0? Go. Time is up. The answer is negative 1. Question number 9. A rectangle has dimensions 30 units by 35 units. What is the least number of squares into which the rectangle can be cut? Again, a rectangle has dimensions 30 units by 35 units. What is the least number of squares into which the rectangle can be cut? Go! Time is up. The answer is 7. Question number 10. Let A and B be the sets composed of the letters in the word Metrobank and Mathematics respectively. What is A intersection B? Again, let A and B be the sets composed of letters in the word Metrobank and Mathematics respectively. What is A intersection B? Go. Time is up. It's the set with elements A, E, M, T. At this point, let us discuss the solutions to the 15-second questions. Question number 1. So, we have x minus the square root of 2 times x plus the square root of 2 over x cubed minus 2x. We multiply the binomials in the numerator and factor the polynomial in the denominator. 
so we have a product of sum and difference in the numerator so we have x squared minus 2 and in the denominator x is a common monomial factor so we have x times the quantity x squared minus 2 therefore x squared minus 2 over x squared minus 2 is 1 that cancels we have 1 over x question number 2 Statistics has 10 letters. So we divide 2021 by 10 and that is 202 remainder 1. So we have one letter remaining that is S. Next, 30 times 40 is equal to 1200. 30 is the number of students in the class. 40 is the average weight, therefore 1,200 is the total weight of the 30 students. 20 of the students weigh 780 kilograms, so we subtract 1,200 minus 780 equals 420. This is the total weight of the remaining 10 students. So if 420 is the total weight of the remaining 10 students, 420 divided by 10, the average weight of the 10 students is 42 kilograms. Next question, number 4. The two equations representing the graph are written as y in terms of x. So since both are equated to y, then we can relate the two as negative x squared equals negative x. Multiply both sides by negative 1. That will be x squared equals x. So what we have is a quadratic equation. We equate this to 0 and we are expecting two roots for this equation. Subtracting x from both sides will get x squared minus x equals 0. And then we get the factors of the left-hand side of the equation. We have x times x minus 1. Equating both factors to 0, we have x equals 0 and x minus 1 equals 0. Therefore, we have the roots as x equals 0 and x equals 1. Now, if x equals 0... We use either of the two given equations, we get y equals 0. And if x equals 1, we'll get y equals negative 1. Therefore, the points of intersections are 0, 0 and 1, negative 1. The area of a rhombus given the diagonals is d sub 1 times d sub 2 over 2 where d sub 1 and d sub 2 are lengths of the diagonals. So we have a is equal to 8 times 5 divided by 2. That is 40 divided by 2. The area of the rhombus is 20 squared centimeters. Number 6. In our science class, we learned about the triangle formula we have the distance is equal to speed times time so if s or the speed is missing we divide distance by time or s equals d over t if the distance is missing we multiply speed times time or d is equal to st if time is missing we divide distance by speed or t is equal to d over s so in the problem we have two situations one is from house to school so teacher ramon reaches the school after one hour of jogging at a rate of 300 meters per minute We need to solve first for the distance between teacher Ramon's house 
and the school. So that will be the distance equal to the speed times time. 300 meters per minute times the unit is meters per minute. So we need to convert 1 hour to minutes. That is 60 minutes. So we have distance equals 300 times 60. That is 18,000 meters. Now that we have the distance, we go to the next situation that is walking from school to teacher Ramon's house. So we're looking for time this time and T is equal to distance divided by the speed. So we have T is equal to 18,000 meters divided by 100 meters per minute. Meter cancels and the unit will be in minutes. That will be 18,000 divided by 100, that is 180 minutes. Since we are given the time in terms of hours in the problem, we convert this to hours, that is 3 hours. Number 7, let x be the bigger number and y be the smaller number. So we have the two equations, x plus y equals 9 x minus y equals 16 and since we're looking for the value of the smaller number we solve this simultaneously for y so subtract the two equations term wise so we have x minus x 0 y minus negative y is 2y 9 minus 16 is negative 7 so 2y is equal to negative 7. Divide both sides by 2. We'll get y equals negative 7 over 2 or negative 3.5. Number 8. Under evaluation of functions. So if we solve for f of 0, we substitute 0 to all the x's in the original function. That will be f of 0 is equal to 2 raised to 0 plus 0 squared minus 2. 2 raised to 0 is 1, 0 squared, 0. So we have 1 minus 2, f of 0 equals negative 1. Number 9, we have a rectangle that measures 30 units by 35 units. Let us have that. We're looking for the least number of squares into which the rectangle can be cut. So, to minimize the number of squares, let us draw the first biggest square that we can cut from the rectangle. First, we have the dimensions, 30 units by 35 units. So, let us have first the biggest square that can be cut out of this rectangle. That is the 30 by 30 square that is a 30 units by 30 units square so there remains in the rectangle 30 units by 5 units rectangle that can be cut into 6 squares upside 5 units so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 squares of 5 units therefore the least number of squares is 7. Last question. Let A be the set of letters in the word Metrobank and B be the set of letters in the word Mathematics. So A intersection B is the set of letters common to Metrobank and Mathematics. That is A-E-M-T. The result, thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids videos.